Welcome YouTube, Todd here with another quick tip video for you. So if you're like me, I recently switched to Cubase from Logic Pro. And you're probably wondering, or you might be thinking of making the switch to Cubase. It seems like a lot of people are starting to switch to Cubase now. And so let's say if you're going from Pro Tools or Logic or another DAW, uh, you're worried about, am I gonna have to relearn my key command? All right, let's take a look here and I'll show you this Little cool little feature if you're switching from Logic or Pro Tools or a Sonar product. So what you gotta do is come up here to File, go to Key Commands, and then if you go down here to your presets, right down here, click this button here. As you can see, Cubase has default key commands for the following. They have Cubase Classic Key Commands, they have Cubase 5 Key Commands, Default, Logic Key Commands, Pro Tools, rendering macros, and sonar. So if you thought, you know, if you're gonna be switching from one of these DAWs that you see listed here, you know, and you're worried, well, I don't wanna relearn all my key commands and stuff like that, don't fear, because they are here within Cubase. But like I said, I recommend you to try to learn the default key commands that comes with the DAW. It just makes you quicker and faster. So I hope this quick tip helped you. If you have any questions or you wanna see another quick tip video, please feel free to leave a comment below. Also, follow me up on Twitter. It's twitter.com slash Todd K. Edwards. This is the best place to contact me. If you ever want to see any other types of videos or you have any questions, you can send them there to Twitter and I get them, you know, on my phone like that and I can respond back to you or I can make a video. So, like again, thanks for watching. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.